So there's this friend of mine, John George, runs a restaurant called Spice Market, runs a few others actually. And somehow at that place, he has created the best fried rice dish I have ever tasted. So we're gonna make that. Well, I tried to get Jean Georges to come here and cook this with me, which would have been pretty funny because I would have started cooking it and he would have come in and said, Mark, you don't know what you're doing. You get to get, the, get out of here. I do this myself. But um, he's in uh, Zurich or Shanghai or Atlanta or some other exotic place. So we'll get him here one of these days. But for now, we're going to give this a shot. We're going to start with two frying pans and divide the oil that we're using between them. We need two pans here because the leeks, which are going to go in here, are gonna get cooked until they're soft and the rice is gonna go right into here with the leeks, whereas our ginger and garlic, or shall we say garlic and ginger, are gonna get cooked just until crisp and then drained on paper towels. I can't remember whether Jean-Georges told me to salt this stuff or not, but can't go wrong. I'm gonna cook this garlic and ginger until it's just about crisp, brown and just about crisp, and then drain it on the paper towels, which will really give it a kind of crunch. And that's one of the terrific things about this dish. I can hear him. Mark, don't stir it so much. Just let it sit. That's what we want the garlic and ginger to look like, that little bit of brownness. Oh, when do I take this out? Mark, you need to get this off now. Think that might look a few seconds. No, take it off. I think he's right. But I want to save this oil. So in goes our rice. Okay, so this is just stir frying that rice with those leeks until the rice browns a little bit. While this is happening, you're gonna cook as many eggs as there are people you're serving, which in this case is one. Okay. Jean-Georges molds this rice beautifully on a plate. We prefer to put it in a bowl. Rice, egg, a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit less even of sesame oil, and the crunch of the ginger and garlic overall. Actually looks the way it does at the restaurant. Shockingly enough. Oh man. First time I had this, I said to him, that is the most amazing fried rice ever. Let's see if it can be duplicated by me. It's pretty good. I gotta tell you, it's all about that ginger and garlic over there. I think what this shows, I mean, I made fried rice a million times. The difference between a sort of ordinary good recipe and a really super one can be quite minor. And in this one, I think it's that toasted ginger and garlic, that crisp fried ginger and garlic. It's really amazing. So from Jean-Georges to me, to you, it's worth it.